Hello dear friends, Chris here. I hope you're well. Thank you for joining me today. So I have to show you two items, but before I get to that, I just wanted to say, per usual, um, to anybody new, welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you enjoy it here. Um, please do all the YouTube-y things, like like, subscribe, share, comment below. Um, uh, I truly appreciate it. I hope you like my content. And to all my returning viewers and True Blues, thank you for your continued love, support, kindness, and friendship. It means everything to me. Um, you can find the links of these two items below in the description box, as well as my Facebook group I share with my friend Angie, my Instagram page, and my 10% off code for Uniquely Yours Down Under. Um, there is an also code... So, uh, that's the standard stuff. So I have the two items here for you today from my dear friends from DP Clubs. Um, and now if you want to get something from DP Clubs, I believe my code is still active um, from what they say. It's my name, which is Chris Colossa, no space, lowercase. Uh, again, I'll link that below as well. Um, I did try to put it in today and I don't think it's working only because right now because there's I think there's a sale going on so you can't like have two kind of coupon codes so I think um the discounts that they're offering right now is considered the disc main discount so you can't combine with anything else however I think generally when there's not like a sale like that going on my code should work so just an FYI if you want to save it I don't get anything from it it's just you know they're just doing something nice for you all and Let's get to it uh, with the actual unboxing. Now, I wanna say, like I try to do, most of the time, sometimes I do forget, so I apologize if I forget, um, especially with certain items. I don't know the provenance of these items, so if that's going to be an issue for you as far as you know that issue, a thing goes, and you don't wanna take a chance in seeing something that might upset you, thanks so much for watch watching until this point, and I hope you come back at a later date. Okay, so our first item I have for you today, it is a canvas size of 45 by 55. I call it the mother and child or Madonna and child. Um, I'm not sure what the website called, I don't remember it. Again, I'll link it below. Here it is. It's a really, I love the art piece. The colors are not usually my colors, at least. Um, it looks a very muted color palette um but there aren't as many it doesn't the when you actually look at the drills itself it doesn't seem as like dowdy <laughs> let's say as um the image would kind of come off across as um they do have at the drill field itself i don't think it'll be a problem it has the symbols are in a like a white back well in some of these I should say uh, how do you say it for instance like in these darker colors where this is probably what maybe is a green here um, they have the symbol N which is surrounded by a white background in the end it makes it it's a kind of guide circle kind of like diamond art publish um, it's better than the black heavy outline guide circle that's for sure um, personally, I prefer no kind of circle at all. I just want it on a plain background. But this I could deal with. Um, so that is there. Uh, sticky drill field. Um, again, a very interesting piece of artwork. I really like it. Again, the mother and child here. And then we have a background. We have like this trees type thing. Earth. Um, very interesting you know, trees <laughs> going on and uh, it looks very, to me, native or, um, Hisp you know, Hispanic maybe, I don't know. I really like it. I love this type of artwork um, and I'm really excited to do this at some point. I don't know when. Uh, so let's take a look. And I'm sorry if I'm misidentifying the artwork again. I don't know about who did this, if it's any person that we would know again I don't know any of that so I don't mean to misidentify no offense uh, so here's the thumbnail of the picture oh, 
us get in control. Okay. So while we're there, we could see the Legends of Miss Baltimore Crab over here. It does list the colors and the DMCs if you care about that. Here is the drill field up close. Again, no problem at all for me reading the, the symbols. I have started using light pad again, which actually helps a lot with my eyes, not with the necessarily, uh, cause the drill field is fuzzy with any of these canvases. I, I'm using it all the time now. Um, it's just too much of a strain, I think, for me personally, um, even though I could see them, it does make it a whole lot easier with the light pad. Um, I don't need to mess up my eyes, so be safe. And yeah, so this is really, really pretty. I, again, I really like this image. It's very unique, different from the kind of stuff I have. Um, so very excited to do this one. Um, if it, I would, I would honestly, actually, I would do it now if I'm, if it had a lot of blues or col colorful stuff in it, um, because I'm, you know, events going on, but it doesn't, so I'm going to have to wait to do it. Okay, let's look at the drills real quick. I'm not going to take them out, but this is how it came, so I wrote on here, so, so I know what it is. It has the sticker, it comes individually bagged, we can see in there, the black, shiny blacks. And here is our colors. So it does look a little brighter than it would appear normally. So we have the whites and the flesh tonies. We have some dark blues, some um, purplish, I would call that maybe the eggplant colors over here. Um, some pinks, there's some light pinks in there with some, uh, again, lighter colors, some light oranges, the flesh tones, and blues, corals. We have some reds, greens, dark, dark, bright red here you know so if you kind of again look at the picture you'd be like there's not really bright red anywhere where's that red by the way let's see oh, I can't tell I'm I'm gonna open it real quick just out of curiosity to see where that super bright red is what call it number is it this is number three so what I meant was this color right there that is the three on here. So we have a three, one three in there. We have a couple threes over there. Again, the background is not telling you what color it is because the three, which is that red, is actually in a white background with the black three on it. So you couldn't, wouldn't know that's supposed to be bright red. So either way, it's going to be beautiful. If you can see actually the colors better in the thumbnail, what it's supposed to be. Oops. So again, it is more colorful in the thumbnail than what it presents here. So, okay, enough about I'm babbling, babbling, babbling. This is what I this is what happens when I don't film for a while. I I kind of get really talky. So let's go on to the second one. This one is an 80 by 40 uh, canvas size, and it has 24 colors. That This one has 30. This one, new one, has 24. And again, it's much more of a muted. And we have beautiful kitties and flowers. Look at this, how beautiful. Now this will be confetti over here, over here. Lots of areas of confetti. This one actually, Again, they tend to have blocks of confetti and then blocks of color blocking. So we do have color blocking in here. We do have some in here in the flowers, whereas the background in these greens, lots of confetti. You know, there's a few different colors in here, but it's not super confetti. Um, you know, it's kind of more of a line color blocking. The same as in here. We have confetti in here or line, line blocking in here. Confetti over here, you know color blocking here so again I always say lots of confetti in here budget companies tend to have a good mixture of these two anyways so we have these beautiful beautiful flowers to me possibly are these hydrangeas would you think mm, I'm not sure 
maybe, yeah, I, or chrysan chrysanthemums, maybe. I don't know. White hydrangeas, maybe. Um, so we have them up here. And we have the purple flowers over here. We have the beautiful cat, cream color cat. I mean, again, the detail in this through the camera, up close it looks really good. But through the camera, you can really, I mean, that cat's face is really great. You could tell throughout the beautiful, this through here, the fur, the definition on the fur. Then we have the, what I'll call the baby cat down here. Again, really looks great through camera. Um, the eyes are a little bit more um, blurry up close, but that's because it's not drilled yet. And it's always going to be a little bit more when you're just six inches away, six, ten feet inches away. Um, once you've got a foot or two away, again, beautiful. I mean, it just is a gorgeous picture. They do have a couple of these cat ones out now um, in different cat styles. Um, but I really love this one. I, you know, this is very English garden, you know, 1920s kind of era. That's what it evokes in me. Why? I don't know. Does that make any sense? Probably not. But hey, that's me. Anyways, beautiful, beautiful kitties. And I love my flowers. So let's take a close look. Even close up. See, isn't that cat really beautiful? Beautiful. Beautiful. Stunning, stunning, stunning kitty. And the flowers. So we can see some of that. The green. Um, the, it is a tiny bit, um, harder to see, although I, again, I could take, uh, I could see it myself, and with the O's, oh, excuse me, mm -mm. like you have the O's and the B's and the S's, um, in these, like, danker, kind of greenish, brown colors, um, not the clearest, but not fuzzy either, it's just, again, it's, even on here with the E's and the P's, you know, uh, we have some, where are they? Yeah, right there. Um, some greens with the light uh, symbols over them. So, you know, if you have eye issues, again, you'll probably need a light pad. I use it, again, like I said, all the time again. Um, but if I didn't have one, I could, I could personally see it. You know, symbol clarity is always generally a personal thing. Here we have our drills. Again, they are individually bagged. And here is what you would expect. Uh, again, not my usual color palette. Something I really am not for. Uh, you know me, I love my colors. This is not these kind of pea greens and browns and creams, tans, things I generally despise. However, this is just too cute. I couldn't pass this one up. So again, we have our pea greens, our tans. We have a little bright yellow in there. More greens, more greens. We have some purples and some dark um, maroons, maybe. Uh, a pretty um, peach fleshy color. Cream colors, browns. Again, back to our maroons and coral pinks or salmon pinks, really. Uh, dark purple. Uh, what looks like probably black, and again, some browns and tans. So. Beautiful kitties. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So we have our kitties in our English garden, and we have our mother and child. So, I'll do it this way. So, what do you all think? Let me know. Uh, again, these are from DP Clubs. Uh, if you like, check them out. Um, there's, again, right now, I don't know when you'll see this, but at this point, on today's date, there is a, a sale going on. Again, if you'd like, check out my code. Um, see uh, if you can save something on it. Let me see. I don't know if, if this will tell me. Um... <laughs> 
sorry, I just want to see. No, it d they didn't tell me how much it is off for, so I don't know how much you would get off. Five, ten percent, maybe fifteen. It's a mystery. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so thank you all so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate it. It will be linked below in the description box. Um, and like per usual, please, everybody, until next time, be safe, be happy, stay safe, stay happy. Bye, guys.